Now, uh, you're with 4FM. You know about uh, Bebo. You know about Facebook. You know about Twitter. There's something else coming out your way tonight, and I think it would be of particular interest for those of you uh, who are professionals, who are involved in business and so on and so forth. It's called LinkedIn, uh, and I'm joined by a Krishna Day, social media expert and lecturer. I suppose uh, as a funny, uh, funny sort of description it here. If Bebo is a Volkswagen and Twitter is a Toyota Prius, uh, LinkedIn is a Lexus. <laughs> Is that appropriate? Well, I think you'll probably find a few members of LinkedIn certainly driving a Lexus uh, because it's very much aimed at the business community um, versus some of the other networks that you've talked about. So if you're listening tonight, you're a businessman, businesswoman, you should listen to this. 65 million members around the world, 50% of the Fortune 100 companies now using it as a recruitment tool. Absolutely. You'll find... Every big named brand there. You'll find universities there. You'll find past colleagues that you've worked with. And it definitely is a place that, to consider. You know, not everybody wants to be online and networking online. Mm -hmm. But if you are somebody in business, then it's a great way for you to start to build a professional profile and connect to trusted friends. Build a professional profile. Absolutely. Yeah. Because one of the things, Tom, I don't know if you ever go to the search engines and Google people, look for people online. Yeah, yeah. Um, and increasingly, I mean, a lot of research is saying in the order of about 40% of us will look for an individual, yeah. not just a company. And when they do that, what they're doing is looking to find out information. So LinkedIn yeah. allows us for free, and there's a paid for version, to actually put our personal profile online, decide how much we want to share about our background, our links to our website, our experience. Yeah. And people yeah. are on LinkedIn specifically so to there's network. Your, there's your CV. It is. And, your, and what you look like and so on and so forth. How, for example, at this particular moment in the country, how would you use this to get a job? Um, a couple of th uh, key tips. Number one, make sure if you're going to use it that you've got a, a professional profile that reflects what you do. And it also includes all the words that you think people might look for you by. Because one of the things that is happening is people are going on to LinkedIn not looking necessarily for a person, but for skill sets. Mm. So think about what it is that people might search for. Make sure you've got a good professional profile. Um, you can look to reconnect Like to, what? Look for like what? Um, in terms of pers uh, yeah, the, the photograph, yeah. um, you know, if it needs to represent you in business. So it's not about you being on holiday there, uh, you know, with the no, family. But I mean, what words, what phrases would you put in? Oh, well, you know, if you are somebody who's a, a financial manager or, a, or an accountant, you want yeah. to make sure that that's there in the description of you. Right. If you've got something and you know that people will search for you in terms of as a web programmer, if you're somebody there who's a, a marketing manager, make sure all but, that kind of keywords are there. Okay, but if you go in and find, you know, 150 guys called marketing managers, how do you tell one from the other? You see, one of the things that we do in the real world is that if you've, let's say, you, let's pick this subject of jobs that you want you are looking at people filling a, an opportunity what do you often do you might advertise it you might also go to your network of friends and colleagues and say hey do you know of anybody who might fit this role mm. so one of the things that people are doing is and i'm finding this all the time people getting business through linkedin because people do searches then they see who else is connected so it's like oh you know i've heard of tom do you think he'd be any good for this job i see you know he's got these skills so i ask my friend who's connected to you and so it's another way of doing those checks but i, I know there's some interesting things that people are doing in terms of getting connections i've got somebody who i met recently they identified the companies they wanted to connect to they knew the, who they were and it was going to be anybody who's going to spend in the order of 100000 in terms of that's the kind of investment for their services. Okay. They got direct connections to those people and cups of coffee with them now, by targeting them. I'm looking at the website here. Your, your network is full of industry experts willing mm. to share advice. I mean, good advice costs money. Uh, you'll be surprised. People will go in there and there's a section here called Get Answers. Like, what sort yeah. of questions would you put in there? Oh, any sorts of questions. Well, give me some. So it could be anything from, I'm considering buying um, a new piece of software to be able to handle my accounts. What would you recommend? What you'll find on there, Tom, is their groups. There are lots of groups, even here in Ireland, specialist groups where people are interested in... They're not all geekies sales. now, are they? No, they're not at all. Some they're, of them grow roses and some of them drink wine, I hope. I think they're very regular people. Like, in fact... <laughs> You know, so the people you're going to find in there, they're going to be the people that you're going to have met in other networks. They could be in the chambers of commerce. They could be in the enterprise board meetings you've been mm. to. One mm. of the things I've noticed that 
many organizations in the real world are doing is setting up a group to keep people connected between their meetings. So, for example, uh, PR Institute of Ireland, the Dublin Chamber of Commerce, all of those groups would actually have organizations online. You'll find organizations there in Cork. You'll find them in Limerick. Right. And so there's specific groups that perhaps we've met in the real world and people want to keep connected. Presumably, if you're looking for work, then you, you, you may be picked up Australia, Canada, New Zealand, yeah? Um, yeah, they also find that recruiters, particularly companies, are now using LinkedIn themselves. They would have a, absolutely, they have a professional search. Okay. I can tell you for sure that Google, as an example, their recruiters, I know this from people who I've spoken to, have overtly, from America, have searched for people to go into jobs in the Dublin office and have connected to people directly, not by a job ad, but by targeting the right. kind of background they're right. looking for. Now, the other thing, of course, is reconnect past and present mm -hmm. colleagues and classmates quickly or stay good touch simple well one of the things that i found there is other companies i worked for or the university i studied at i can go back and reconnect to people i don't know about you tom but i've got friends um business colleagues who i've worked with over the years who it's great to be back in touch and one of the things about good old networking is that it's about supporting each other and i'm finding that a lot of people are you know, reconnecting through these worlds. I would say real world face to face networking, cups of coffee go a long way, but it's a great way to keep in touch. I've got friends who are all over the world now. Um, and it's a, it's a nice way to say, I've found this opportunity, or can you help with something? And what's its success, and what does it do that the other uh, social networks don't do? I think one of the key things is it's for business people. So if you look at Facebook for, as an example. You've got to earn 40,000 plus, they reckon, here, <laughs> too. Um, yeah, if you look at Facebook, I guess you could describe Facebook as being there for fun, family, friendships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People who are on, on LinkedIn are deliberately there for business. Um, there was a really nice story you might have come across earlier on this year, which was an Irish startup, and they identified they wanted funding. And what they did is they actually used LinkedIn deliberately to connect to people who they thought would be angel investors. And within a matter of weeks, they got 160,000 uh, euros in terms of investment. And that was about using LinkedIn as a way to perhaps get through cake keepers, you know, email goes into spam. Yeah. Um, it's, an, it's a great way for, for you to do that. You're very passionate about it, Krishna. Um, I'm passionate about helping people be successful in their business. Yeah. It is not necessarily right for everyone, but, you know, if you're in a network... Um, and you pay your dues in terms of a membership fee every year. If you don't put something into it, you're not going to get anything out of it. So if you're going to use it, put a little bit of time into investing. How the world has changed. Once upon a time, you had to join a secret society, roll up your trousers leg and make these strange sort of handshakes and so on. Now you just go on and it's LinkedIn.